today. I am Jessa Asi Gutin, the senior high school applicant from the Division of Bohol, and this is my semi-detailed lesson plan. The learning area that I have chosen is general mathematics, with the learning competency distinguishes between business loans and consumer loans. The topic is about business loans and consumer loans. I will start now with my teaching demonstration. Hello class, may I request everybody to stand for our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning class! How's your day? Have you eaten your breakfast? Very good! It's very important to take your breakfast before going to school since it's the most important meal of the day. So let me check your attendance. Nobody is absent. Very good. Now let me introduce to you our objectives for today's lesson. So at the end of the lesson, you should be able to first distinguish between business and consumer loans. Second, illustrate business and consumer loans. And third is be cautious in decision making. So I hope that we can meet all these objectives as we go along with our discussion. Are you ready to learn? Wow, that's great. You are all excited to learn. So I have here word up. So what words do you see in this word up? Yes, Jasmine. Very good. We have the word loans. How about you, Jericho? Yes, we have the word personal. Very good. Sarah Jim, what word? We have the word money. So these are just some of the words that we can see in this wordle. And these words have something to do with our lesson this morning. Now, who can share to me their experiences about lending or borrowing money? What did you do so you can borrow the money? Okay, thank you class for sharing your experiences. Lending or borrowing money has something to do with our topic this morning together with these words as what I have said earlier. Now, I want you to go to your group, the same groupings that we had yesterday. Okay, this is for group one and the area for group two. <clears throat> Are you all set? I have your cards which contain questions which you will answer as a group. So now, I want you to discuss your answer with your group mates. For group one, this is your problem, and group two. I'll give you five minutes to answer. Since you are all done, please look at your card. This is the problem given to group one. So, in each group, you were asked to identify if this is business loan or consumer loan. So what's your answer, group one? Your answer is consumer loan. Why did you answer consumer loan? Very good. It's because the purpose is to buy a brand new car. So now, what is consumer loan? Anybody from group one who wants to share their idea about consumer loan? Yes, Mika. Okay, thank you for sharing your idea. So, consumer loan is the money lent to an individual for, for what purpose? For personal or family purpose. Okay? Now, the problem given to group two. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's your answer, group two? You answered business loan. Why business loan? Very good. It's because the purpose is for business. So, what is business loan? Anybody from group two? Yes, Corn. Okay, thank you, Corn, for sharing your idea. When we say business loan, it's the money lent specifically for a business purpose. It may be used to start a business or to have a business expansion. Now, let's go to the second question in its group. What do you call to the assets used to secure the loan? Yes, Sarah. You don't know the answer? That's okay. The answer for this, anybody? Yes, Ikang. Oh, you 
answer? Your answer is collateral. Let me check or let's check if the answer is collateral. Very good. The answer is collateral. It's the assets used to secure the loan. So consumer loans and business loans may require a collateral. The collateral for both loans may be real estate or other investments. For business loans, they can use equipment, fixtures, or furniture as collateral. For consumer loans, the bank or the lending institution may require a credit report, bank statements, or bank statements rather, and an income tax return. And if the lender is employed, a certificate of employment and employee pay slips. Now for business loans, the lender has to submit a credit report, income tax returns, and company's financial statement. So there are lots of requirements before they will allow you to borrow the money. Now for the third question, what do you call to the time given to you to pay the entire loan? Anybody from the group? Yes, Jaime. So your answer is that. Okay, thank you for sharing your idea. The answer for that is term of the loan. It's the time given to you to pay the entire loan. And you have to remember that the term of the business loan is generally shorter than the consumer loan. And the interest rate for the business loan is usually higher than that for the consumer loan. Do you understand? Do you have any clarifications or questions about our topic? None so far, okay? So I want to check if you really have understood our discussion. I have here two questions and I want you to identify if this is business loan or consumer loan. I want you to stand up if your answer is business loan and I want you to sit down if your answer is consumer loan. Are you ready? Good, you're all ready. First question. What's your answer? Oh, I see that everybody is standing. So that means your answer is business loan. The purpose, what purpose? The purpose is for the barber shop. So the answer is business loan. Very good, everybody got it correctly. Now for the second question. Oh, I see that everybody is sitting down. So that means your answer is consumer loan. Let's find out. Okay, the correct answer is consumer loan. Since the purpose is to build a new room. So very, very good. Congratulations, everyone. Since you already understood or understand our discussion this morning. Now, who can share to me the difference between business loans and consumer loans? Yes, May. Okay, when we say business loan, the purpose is for business. And when we say consumer loan, the purpose is personal or for family purpose. Okay, so since you already understood our lesson, I want you to get one for sheet of paper and answer the questions in this test paper. I'll give you five minutes to answer so since you're all done, let's check your paper. Pass your paper. I see that everybody got a correct or a passing score. So good job, everyone. So I see that all of you understood our topic. So it's easy, right? For your assignment, I want you to study about solving problems on business and consumer loans. Our topic is about amortization and mortgage. So, I have your boxes. This contains rewards for those who participated and for those who did a good job for today's lesson. So, I hope that you will not forget whatever you learned from our lesson this morning. So, before we'll end, I want you to remember this quote from Dave Ramsey. So, the decision to go into debt alters the course condition of your life. You no longer own it. You are owed. So you have to think a lot of times before you borrow 
money or before you lend money from anybody. Do not let money own you or the debt own you. You have to know how to manage your expenses. So that's all for today.